So you're thinking of moving to Port St. Lucie, Florida, and you're wondering what's it like to live here? Well, today I'm gonna to tell you the truth. I've got a list of 10 things that I've seen that I get asked about and that you should know, the good and the bad, before you move here. Hey, I'm Rafael Gonzalez, your Treasure Coast real estate agent. If this is your first time to the channel and you wanna learn about what's it like to live in our cities and our towns here in South Florida, make sure you tap that subscribe button and click that little bell so you're notified every time I do a new video. I'm getting so many people that reach out telling me they're moving and relocating here. So if you're thinking about moving anywhere in South Florida, make sure you give me a call, shoot me a message, or schedule an appointment, however you want to get a hold of me, and we can go through this together. The first thing that we're going to talk about is that there are so many people moving to Port St. Lucie. Is it overcrowded? What's going on here? Well, PSL isn't that big, small town people still think it is. With all of the relocation to and even within South Florida and all of the construction going on, over 220,000 people now call PSL home. And the pandemic played a huge part in this relocation boom because most of us learned that we can work from home and we don't have to necessarily live in an expensive city anymore. You can relocate to wherever you want to live. Your lifestyle, your community, and your home is just as important as how close you live to some commercial area. So with all of this growth and changes, buying or even selling your home is really competitive. For me, I'm helping so many clients and subscribers move and relocate because of this channel. So thank you all so much. And at this point, I have the process of what you need to do really dialed in. So what does this mean for you if you're thinking about moving here? It's planning, it's why I built this channel. So you really need to reach out because it's all about your goals. Why are you moving here? Because if you don't mind growth and some of the other things we're gonna talk about, you just might like Port St. Lucie. Number two, PSL is ranked as the second safest city in the country. And for almost the last decade, it has consistently ranked at the top of that list. Low property and violent crime, especially when you consider the population size, has made Port St. Lucie a great choice for families and retirees. And the safety isn't just exclusive to gated communities. Actually, most of Port St. Lucie is non-HOA, scattered lot homes in regular neighborhoods. So you don't have to pay a premium each month just to feel safe in your own home. Number three, I know you were thinking about it. It is the weather and the wildlife. I've had clients tell me the entire reason they're moving to Port St. Lucie from up north is because of the weather. They just can't take it and won't put up with the cold anymore. Winters here are beautiful. They average about in the 60s and 70s and everything looks perfect. But from May to September, oh, you feel that Florida heat. You've probably heard someone say, it's not the heat, it's the humidity. Well, we have both. Sometimes for a week or two, it can feel like a swamp. And speaking of a swamp, yes, we have alligators, we have snake, there's even bobcat sightings. No, you won't see these every day and you shouldn't live in fear that you'll find one of them in your backyard or your pool. But it's possible. This was and still is their home, so just be aware, they're more scared of you than you are of them. And we also have some less intimidating wildlife like sandhill cranes, manatees, and plenty of marine life. But I wanna to touch on the elephant in the room when it comes to weather here in Florida, and that's hurricanes. Hurricane season starts in June and technically doesn't end until November. But honestly, PSL doesn't get hurricanes as bad as farther south. For one, the city is more inland. And if you look at the FEMA map, most of PSL isn't in a flood zone that's gonna require flood insurance. But I will tell you, even though it's not in a flood zone, east of US-1 can get pretty bad since it's closer to the intercoastal and the ocean. And when there's a lot of construction on any street, they're blocking the swale and that can make water back up onto the property. Number four is the affordability. Whether it's a pro or a con for you depends on where you're coming from. And honestly, the affordability has gotten questionable since the pandemic, especially in the last year with all the supply chain issues and people being able to live wherever they want, we're just seeing some incredible growth. A lot of my clients coming from these higher cost of living areas can't believe for four to 500,000, you can get a nice size home close to everything with good schools nearby. Or even getting into luxury at six, seven, even 800,000 gets you access to these huge brand new construction homes with custom finishes in both resort style and non-HOA communities. But for some, that affordability Port St. Lucie always offered is gone. And for others, it's incredible to finally get into a new home for the family 
or even that home you always dreamed of for retirement. Number five, we've got to talk about the location. Port St. Lucie is right in the middle, two hours each way to Orlando up north and Miami down south. So if you want to get away for the weekend with the family, you can hop on the Turnpike and head over to Disney, Universal, or one of the other theme parks in Orlando. Or if you're looking for nightlife, art, or even to do some of the more touristy things, make your way down to Miami. There are also some great other cities nearby like West Palm, Stewart, Vero, Boca, and so many more. And let's not forget that right here in PSL, you're only ever 10 to 30 minutes from the beach, depending on which part of the city you're in. Number six, let's talk about property taxes. Port St. Lucie has the highest property tax millage rate in the state of Florida. For new homes, builders are saying to estimate 2% of the market value of your home as your yearly property tax before exemptions. But please remember, wherever you end up moving to, property taxes change upon change of ownership and past taxes are not a reliable projection for future taxes. But if you have more questions about property taxes and the different exemptions available, make sure to call the property appraiser's office. Number seven is the downtown scene, or lack thereof, I guess. Port St. Lucie actually doesn't have a formal downtown, and some people say that's why we don't really have a nightlife either, which you can argue is a good or a bad thing. But we do have Traditions Village Square, which has some nice restaurants and hosts a lot of family-friendly events. And Tradition is even building its own downtown farther south on Village Parkway. And we actually do have the Civic Center that was intended to be the downtown for Port St. Lucie that's kind of just used for events. And while I don't think any local would try to tell you St. Lucie West is downtown, there is a lot of shopping and dining you can do there. But if you're looking for that old Florida downtown vibe, PSL is close to downtown Fort Pierce, Jensen Beach, Stewart, and Port Salerno, and each of them have their own distinct personalities. Fort Pierce is historic with a great local food culture. Jensen is a little bit more artsy, a little beachy. Stewart's is luxury and upscale, and Port Salerno is a fisherman's village. They're each great in their own right, and you should really check them all out when you get the chance. I'm actually working on videos highlighting each of the downtowns. So if you wanna see those kinds of videos, stick around. Number eight, the traffic. Honestly, as someone who drives around Florida for work, compared to other major metros like Miami, Broward, Orlando, and even Tampa, Port St. Lucie's traffic isn't really that bad. Yeah, we've grown a lot, there's construction going on, and the city is fixing up roads, but outside of a few main roads at certain times of the day, you can get to pretty much anywhere you need in PSL, even across town in like less than 30 minutes. Number nine, we are a hot spot for retirees. PSL consistently ranks as one of the best places in the nation to retire to, and for good reason. There are plenty of recreational activities you can do while enjoying retirement. We have excellent medical facilities and healthcare, and there are a lot of community resources available. And all of these things have kind of led to nearly a third of Port St. Lucie's population being over the age of 55. So builders have responded to this demand by making these beautiful resort style communities that offer an unbeatable lifestyle for people over 55. You can build and customize your own brand new home in a community that has massive social clubhouses with everything you could ever dream of in retirement besides golf but you can always go to one of the many nearby clubs or courses for that. And they do have amazing amenities like resort pools, sports courts, fitness centers, and plenty of clubs, creative outlets, events, and activities all coordinated by their lifestyle directors. Now, if you're not a retiree, I'm sorry if you fall in love with one of the beautiful homes I've shown on the channel, only to find out it's exclusive to 55 and over communities. There are still plenty of amazing homes available, and don't worry, Port St. Lucie and the builders here have heard you and are working on developing so many new all-ages communities for young people and families over the next year or two. And finally, number 10, Port St. Lucie appeals to such a diverse range of people because there are so many options and things to do here. There's a wide array of activities for you to enjoy. Whatever you like to do, you can find a community or something you or the family enjoys and plug into it here. Like I'm a foodie and since there's so much diverse culture here in PSL, I can find international foods everywhere. 
Caribbean, Indian, Thai, Japanese, Greek, Italian, and there is no shortage of Latin American foods from every country. And there's plenty of activities you can do outdoors. You can find things like bike trails, sports, parks, golfing. Pickleball has gotten really popular, bocce, tennis, and even horseback riding. Not to mention everything you can do in the water. We've got canals, lakes, the river, and the ocean is perfect for boating and fishing. Like I mentioned earlier, we're really close to miles and miles of uncrowded beaches. And my wife and I love the botanical gardens and taking our daughter to the different parks here. Speaking of, there are plenty of family fun things to do in BSL. There are amazing entertainment centers where you can find fun things to do like trampoline and extreme air parks, laser tag, bowling, mini golf, arcades, paintball, and more things are coming to PSL. There's talks of a water park and new entertainment venues with go-karting. And there's even a big AMC theater where you can catch a movie on the big screen. And as far as events go, there's so much happening in Tradition Square, the Civic Center, and Clover Park, from live music, fairs and concerts, to a lot of different cultural and sports events. We're even home to the New York Mets for their spring training, and we have PGA Golf Club. I'm telling you, there's a lot of things for you to do here in Port St. Lucie. So I really hope you enjoyed this video, and like I said, I'm a local real estate agent here who shoots tons of videos like this and about neighborhoods and new construction here, so make sure you subscribe. I'd love to see your comments down below. I know I'm gonna get all different types of comments, but that's fine. I'll be watching and replying to as many as I possibly can. And if you were thinking about relocating here, give me a call, shoot me a message or schedule an appointment. I'd be more than happy to help you.